Good afternoon, guys. We have a wonderful collab video called Mind, Body, and Soul that Sandy from Let's Get Fit with Sandy and I are hosting. If you are coming over from other channels, I want to welcome you to my channel. I'm Carrie from Weight Watchers with Carrie, and I have so far lost a total of 130 pounds. However, I'm at about 112 pounds lost right now because I gained some of that back but I am continuing on. If you're interested in this collab, please keep watching. Hey, he's got me looking quite beige. Got me deep in the haze. The first thing I wanted to bring up is the mind. We all know that when we start Weight Watchers or any program, we really have to connect with what's going on up here. I mean, I've known that forever. I never could really connect to what was up there in my mind. And if you have watched my before and after video, I kind of share when I figure out what's going on up here. I don't want to go into detail, deep detail on here because it will take me forever. But that video, I will link it down below if you want to check it out. And I finally figured out my reason why I had been failing all of these years. I mean, I have been trying to lose weight since, well, since I was like 13, even though I was not a large 13 year old, I was maybe 120 pounds, but in my mind, I thought I was fat. It all stems back to one major thing that happened to me in my life. And I finally, after 30 some years, figured it out. That's really helped. It allowed me to lose 130 pounds, although I did gain some of that back. In your mind, you always have this stuff going on. You always have stress in your life. You always have something going on that you can use as an excuse to not stay in your plan. I have to learn to stop using those excuses. I have nothing really here that would stress me out so bad that I have to get off plan. In my mind, I finally thought to myself, okay, I figured this out. I think I can do it now. I did so well. I did so well. Through this whole last year, I ended up gaining 20 pounds back. Somehow, some way, it crept back on it slowly, slowly, slowly. When we allow ourselves to get off track, even that one day thinking, oh, it's just one day. We can get back on track tomorrow. Sometimes tomorrow is another one of those days. And then we always think to ourselves, we can get back on track next week. I've done that a few times throughout this last year, but one difference in my mind now is that I know what really, really gets to me. So when you're thinking about going out to that fast food restaurant or having an extra serving when you know you're really not hungry or licking spoons after cooking or saying, okay, I'm gonna make this great dessert, but I'm gonna give this dessert away and then you end up not giving the dessert away and you end up eating it. All of those things can be controlled just with your mind. You can control them if you really want to. Sometimes I think that we don't want to control our mind. We wanna use excuses to cover up why we're eating like we're eating. I, I know I do that for sure and I'm positive many of you do that as well. And it's just so frustrating why we see other people succeeding every single day, but yet we can't seem to do that. As the months go on and you lose more weight, like when I first started, I lost 50 pounds, like super quick, just like that. Every single week I was losing three to four pounds, every single week. It slows down. After you reach that 100 pound loss, it's like, oh my gosh, I have to keep fighting, but it's so hard. It's so hard. So much easier to gain the weight than it is to lose the weight. I'm sure you all know that. But once you start getting those losses, those big losses, like when you start reaching 60, 70, 80, 90, 100 pounds lost, it gets harder and harder every single week. When you were a big person, like I was 330 pounds, the weight came off super easy when I followed the plan. When I followed the plan, it was easy. It was. Now I have been slacking on the plan and I know when I follow the darn plan, I can lose the weight. Now I just have to follow that darn plan and really get into why I'm doing this again. I have to figure out some new whys. That's another thing too with your mind. You have to figure out your whys and figure out why you want this so badly. My 
number one reason used to be I wanted to play with my grandkids, my son, and I wanted to be healthier. Now my why, number one why is still to be healthier. And I just have to get in the right mindset again. And getting into that right mindset is always, always difficult. Use your support system. Use other YouTubers. Message them. Use your subscribers. Talk to them. They will help you. They've helped me through this whole entire last few years. My subscribers and my YouTube buddies have helped me through some major difficult times in my life. And they, they will be there for you. So reach out and ask them for help because they will help you. It just sometimes takes a little text message saying, hey, how are you doing? How are you feeling? And sometimes that just sticks with them all day long and saying, hey, somebody actually does care. I try to message somebody at least every day just to see how they're doing and how they're feeling. And when it comes to the mind, you have to do a couple things. You have to get your mindset right and figure out why you're having such a hard time. You have to reach out and ask for help. Don't be afraid to ask for help because sometimes we need help. Just be sure you do a little bit better than you were before. Like instead of going to fast food, have something at home. Have, make some, bake something. You know, at least it's healthier than eating out at fast food restaurants. You can still know in your mind that you do have some control over what you did. Even though it was may not have been great choices, you still had some control. Whatever it is that you had trouble with before that your mindset has changed now, you didn't go back to that. So that is the three major things in my mind that I really need to fix. And my dog's ringing the bell, so I'll be right back. Okay, let's go on to your body. What do you need from your body to help you through this journey? For me, it is something that I'm still working on. My main goal for my body itself is to exercise more. And not like a strenuous, really crazy exercise, just like walking a mile every day. I think if I can at least do that, it's going to strengthen my heart. It's going to make me feel better about myself in the long run because I know that, hey, I got out there and exercise today. And even though sometimes I do eat bad during the day, I still can get out there and exercise now. Where before, I, if I had a bad day, there is no way you would see me out exercising. Not even a chance. Another way that my mindset has changed for my body is that I will still get out there and exercise even if I don't do well for a certain day. Try and eat well. Try and have healthier items instead of having processed foods. Another thing that you can do that is great for your body. My goal is to make healthy meals and share them with you guys. With the body, just mainly exercise, taking care of my body health-wise. Making sure I get my physicals in. Making sure that I get my walks in at least every day, a small walk, even if I have to do a half a mile, at least something every day. Making sure that I eat correctly and healthy. Make yourself feel really good about yourself. Maybe buy yourself a new outfit, something that you look good in, that you feel good in. And I think that will really help too. Let's go on to the soul part of it. Now, this is where I think many people are going to have many different ideas. My main thing is to keep myself busy and keep myself loving what I do. What I do to keep myself happy in my soul, deep down in my soul, I have a couple things that I want to share with you. Besides my diamond painting, because you guys know I diamond paint, I have a couple other things that I have been really, really enjoying. And it really, it really helps deep down in my soul. It really does help me kind of relax and meditate a little bit, if you will. So this is one of the items is my sticker by number. And this is a sticker by number adult book. I mean, kids can do it too, of course, but it is meant for adults. And it is called Brain Games. And I guess this is supposed to help if you are starting to lose a little bit of your memory, slightly, you can use these to help practice getting that memory back. That's what I read anyway. I've been doing, I've been working on them. So you can see each picture is just uh, stickers is all it is. Let me show you what a blank one looks like. So this is an example of a blank one. And what you do is you find the sticker page that corresponds with that sheet and you pull them off. I use a really, uh, 
a really pointy tweezer is what I use because it really helps me get the lines on correctly and I cannot stand when I can't do my lines correctly so there is another one just really fun little projects there's a sun that I did and I just kind of sit there and watch TV with Corey and just work on there's a bonsai tree and some of these are just darling I love them and I had a cat one that I finished <laughs> so just those type of things and then the other thing that I've been working on is a grayscale coloring book I love this thing I love it love it love it so what they do is they give you little pictures here on what your picture could look like you could copy that if you wanted to and practice sheets and what your pens will look like on the actual photo so I've been practicing on that. So the first one I did was this one. And I love it. I, I think it looks amazing. And what they look like beforehand is something like this. It's just gray and colored in. Now, I when I first saw this, I'm like, how in the heck is that going to look good? And then I tried it and it was amazing. And I have this in there just so, because sometimes the markers go through the page. As you can see, they bleed through a little bit. So this is another one that I did. And now it takes quite a while to do a page if you do it correctly, if you take your time on it. There's another one I did. And I love this one the best, I think, so far. She was so fun to color. I love it and I made you know like this was all right through here and I just did a combination of different colors on there and I just I had so much fun doing it I really did and here's another and this is the one I'm working on right now so I cut I'm coloring the background first and I just you know I love sitting there and doing this and I just have this little lap desk here that you can pull up and just set your stuff on your lap. This little thing pops out. You can put your laptop on it too. This is super cheap on Amazon. And I just, I love it. I've been having a lot of fun working on those things. And it, and it really does help me relax and just kind of meditate a little bit. So that is the sole part of my journey is just find something that you absolutely love. Even if it's like going to church or praying or reading the Bible. For me, it's it's just keeping my hands busy and doing stuff that I absolutely love. And diamond painting is one of the other ones that I've been doing. When I'm done with my dishes at night and I just want to sit down and relax and I can talk to Corey while doing this because it's not like it's it's not like you need to really concentrate that hard on this stuff. So I could just talk to Corey or partially watch a movie with him and just feel really calm and peaceful. That is what's helping my soul right now in my journey, finding stuff to keep me busy because we all know when we're not busy, we get bored and then we're gonna eat. So keep your hands busy as much as you can at night and get to bed earlier. Try and get some extra sleep. That is so good for the soul. Just getting to bed a little earlier and I have to take my own advice with that because I get to bed so late lately I was going to bed between 8 and 9 o'clock, and I loved it. I could get up, and I was just like, oh, I'm wide awake. Let's get the coffee going. Let's get the breakfast going. And now I'm kind of getting up, like putting my head on the table, like I don't want to be up this early because I've been getting to bed so late. So I'm going to try and flip-flop that around, try and get some more sleep. You know, this sort of video really makes you think about your life and how you are going about your weight loss journey, how you are going about trying to heal yourself from the inside out, which is pretty much what you're doing. It's just amazing. It's an amazing journey. And if you take it and if you do well, and if you're proud of yourself, you can get all the way to the end. You really can. You've got to really be proud of yourself. No matter if you do bad for a while or not, try and find some things that make you proud of yourself. For me, it's because I didn't go back to fast food. And I feel so proud of myself for that. I am not going back to McDonald's every morning like I used to do. I'm not doing that, that sort of thing. And I am continuing 
my weight loss journey, even though it's on a very slow roller coaster ride right now, I am still continuing it. I am still feeling proud of myself for what I've done so far. I've accomplished a lot so far and I have lost over a hundred pounds. If I can hold myself steady here until I'm ready to really be in that mindset again, that's what I'll have to do. But I'll get there. I will get there. I have no doubt in my mind that I will get there. You guys are all wonderful and you're helping me through all of this process. And we all know when we're on this journey, it's not an easy one. It's not. It's, it will never be easy. You have to really want it badly. If you don't want it bad, you're not going to get it. You're not going to reach out and grab it. You're not going to get it. It's up to you. We are the ones that have to fight for ourselves. Nobody else is going to do it for us. Make sure you're determined. When you start this journey, fight for it. Ask for help if you need it. And just keep going, guys. Never give up. We will talk to you guys again soon. Please be sure to check out all of the other channels down below, which I think is a lot of them down below, as long as everybody stays in it. We had a lot of people that were wanting to participate in this, and I am so thankful to everybody that is doing this. I cannot wait to watch everybody's video. On your journey, everybody is so different. So that's why I think this collab is going to be awesome because everybody's going to have something different to say, I think. I think, I think that anyway. So that is my view on mind, body, and soul. If you were in this collab, what things would you mention that helps you along in your journey? Mind, body, and soul. Put it down below. I'm interested in seeing everybody's response. Again, I want to thank Sandy for being my co-host on this collab. Please check out all the other channels down below because they're going to be good. We will talk to you guys on the next video. Bye, guys, and thank you so much for watching. Gosh, are you serious? He found another bone. <sighs> Hold on.